Hello everyone and welcome back to my video series, how to edit weddings quickly inside of DaVinci Resolve or any video project for that matter as the majority of these things apply to whatever project you might be working on. In today's video, we are going to be going over one of my favorite features on how to edit something together quickly and that is what is called timeline stacking. But before we get into that, I just want to invite you to like and subscribe to my channel. I record lots of videos like this and I'm starting to get back into the swing of YouTube finally after a long break. And so I'm really excited to bring you this content and to be able to teach you how I use DaVinci Resolve and how you can use it better as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the video. Uh, so I have the project that we've actually been working on uh, for the wedding of V and Jeremy. Uh, it's a wedding I shot several months ago, but um, this is the, the, the one with the footage that I've been using to create this video series. And in the last video, I showed you my hotkeys for how to sort B-roll, which you can check out in the corner here. Um, and I haven't actually finished sorting the B-roll for this wedding because I'm actually, I have another paid wedding that I shot just about a week ago that I'm uh, working on to get delivered to a client and so that is taking priority of my time however I did want to make this video to show you this secret on how to save tons of time when constructing a film so assuming you've actually sorted all of your b-roll footage let's just pretend that this timeline of the b-roll that I have pulled up is all sorted right uh, so it's all cut and trim and everything and it's ready to be placed into the film and then of course maybe retimed or uh, trimmed up just a little bit to match the film, but let's just assume it's all the good the good bits. Um, but instead of having to jump back and forth, you can see right here in my viewer, if I click on this, I can switch to the wedding film. I just created a timeline and called it wedding film. But um, instead of having to switch between them like this, where I go to my sorted B-roll and I'm like, oh, I like the shot. Uh, let's say right here, oh, I really like the shot. So I'm gonna grab it, copy it, uh, go over to the wedding film and then Paste it. That takes a lot of time. It's very, very difficult and time consuming. And you can do it that way, but it's just going to be a huge nightmare. So, what I would actually suggest is, of course, what I mentioned before, which is timeline stacking. This is a feature that's in Premiere Pro as well, but I don't know how to set it up there. So, this is because we're working in DaVinci Resolve, obviously. So, I'm sorry, my voice just cracked there. So, let's go ahead and go back to our sorted B roll. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this icon right here in the uh, kind of the edge of the screen that is the timeline view options. And we're gonna enable a couple of things here. Uh, so first of all, I mentioned this in a previous video, but it bears repeating, make sure you're on simple view. This is gonna save you a ton of resources when you are editing. And then of course you can choose how to set up your audio if you want it mirrored, but we're not really working with that today. That's something for another day. You can also control your video and audio track height as well. Uh, be advised if your video if your video track height is too small, then you can't uh, quickly grab these white fade in, fade out things, handles, whatever you wanna call them. But again, not as crucial for today's video. Today we're talking about this right here, which is stacked timelines. So we're gonna click on that. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna give us these tabs. So this in itself would actually speed up our process quite a bit if this is how we were gonna do it. I could add a tab, just like as if it were a web browser, and I could select my wedding film timeline, whoops, wrong one, my wedding film timeline like this, and I could jump back and forth much faster versus going up here and selecting them up here in the viewer. However, I am all about efficiency and I want to, uh, make it even faster for you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna close this tab and I have the B-roll sorted opened up first because I want that one on top. And so uh, I'm going to come over to this side of the screen next to my mixer and I'm going to, uh, I guess for now, I can actually get rid of the mixer right here and this is to add a timeline. It doesn't, I don't think it actually shows you what's called, but you just click that add timeline button and right out the gate, it actually just adds a timeline right underneath the one we already have selected. And this is going to enable me to uh, further customize my windows like this. Since my B-roll timeline doesn't have any audio in it in the case of this wedding, which we talked about in the previous video why that is, um, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of 
resize this so it's very simple and very easy to scrub through. And for this one, all we have to do is select the wedding film timeline on bottom. And now I have the stacked timelines. Now I'm running a, I'm using a 1440p monitor. So I have a little bit of real estate when it comes to resolution, but not a ton. If you're on a 4k or even 5k monitor, then you have even more flexibility for how many timelines you can stack. You can see here that I still have the option to add another timeline if I so desire. Uh, or I can delete them, which the button to delete the timeline is actually right next to it. So let's say, oh, actually, I don't want that one anymore. I can get rid of it and it will delete it for me. It's such a simple yet powerful feature that you really, really need to know about if you work inside of DaVinci Resolve regularly, especially if you do projects that require you to sort through tons of B-roll, which is pretty much any video project trim down the stuff that you're not going to need and put it onto a more refined or finalized timeline. Um, it just makes your life so much easier. Uh, so now from here, all we have to do now that we have our wedding timeline is we can actually just click and drag and move the clips down into, if I can actually grab the clip instead of the edge of it, move it down into the clip. So you can see here that I'm just clicking and dragging and just putting the clips down and I'm pretending that I'm putting them in a certain order. I'm actually just doing it at random just to show you how quickly you can actually do it. Now, uh, the one thing that's slightly annoying that I wish that uh, they, they, they would fix is you can't actually move a clip from an upper timeline into a new layer on the bottom of the timeline. You have to create that layer before moving the clip to it. Let me show you what I mean by that. So let's say I wanted to grab this clip right here that reveals the door uh, and I wanted to put that on a new layer in the bottom timeline. If I click and drag, it actually doesn't let me, it only lets me put it on the current layer. So what I have to do is I have to put it on that layer and then move it up and then it'll create a new layer. And then I can move it to either of those layers, no problem. Uh, so that is one thing that I wish was handled differently, but it's not too big of a deal. So. Tell me what you think about this video. Did it help you out? Uh, did you already know this? Uh, what are some other tricks that you know about that help you edit faster inside of DaVinci Resolve? I would love to know. As for now, uh, I guess that's the end of the video. Thanks again so much for watching. Um, I really appreciate your, you taking the time to join me today into this quick tip on how I edit wedding films very quickly. And this, of course, is video number three in my series. If you haven't seen the first two, go back and watch those. Um, and be sure to watch out for more videos to come. I plan on recording more videos in this series, but also more videos of just general tips and tricks. I have one in the works that is going to be my top either three or five favorite features in DaVinci Resolve that you might not know about. So be sure to get subscribed for that. In the meantime, thanks again for watching, and I will see you in the next video.